hello there. Morning everybody. So this morning I'm at Glen Fine and it's an absolutely miserable day. My plan today is to go up Bain Vuya. It's um, an outlier to the Arica Alps. Um, it's classed under Arica Alps on a couple of the maps I've seen so once I tick this one off that'll be me. The whole Arica Alps area uh, complete. Uh, I'm just walking along here, I can see all the all the bluebells. I've not seen any so far this year but yeah, it's pretty nice here, I've got them all, all out across here in the fields and everything. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'm going to get in terms of views today. I think it's to be pretty miserable all day, so maybe in the clag. Now when I was planning this trip, uh, I noticed something quite interesting about the hill over here. Uh, Clacken Hill it's called. Uh, there's a little power station at the bottom, and I had a little read about it. It's the single biggest turbine in the UK. There's a 40 megawatt power station. And on top of the hill itself, there's another 15 megawatts of uh, wind power. Uh, so the hill in total generates about 55 megawatts, which is enough to power about 25,000 homes, which is pretty impressive, I have to say. It's such a little hill, and you've got all that power generated from it. Uh, it's a bit of a trek up to the start here. You walk up the... It's a, it's a tarmac road, you walk up uh, to the base of the mountain and head up for there to the top of Bainvuya. I expect to be in the clouds most of the day, so it might not be the best of views, but hey ho, that's the way it goes. Anyway, let's get cracking and get to the top of the hill. The walk today starts at Loch Fine, near the Loch Fine Oyster Bar. I'm not a fan of oysters myself, but I've been told the mussels are very tasty. Unfortunately, I was too burst after the hill walk to sample them. The walk from Loch Fine, also known as Loch Fina in Gaelic, is a long one, around four and a half miles. The path to the start of the hill is pretty good however, so you could take a mountain bike. And in fact, I did see several people taking their mountain bikes and hiding them behind the ruined building near the foot of the hill. And to be honest, I was pretty jealous on the way back when I saw them riding the bikes and uh, there was me trudging 4.5 miles back to the car. <laughs> Although Bainvuya is not too far from Glasgow, it's often less visited than the nearby Arica Alps. I think this is due to the long walk in, but Glenfine is beautiful itself and if you're looking for a low level Glen walk then Glenfine is a, a lovely place to go. Yes, made it to the summit of Bainvuya. The summit of Cairn is looking a little bit strange this one. Seems like there's a trig point used to be there but... Um, I think that's a trig point under there now, and I think it um, looks like somebody's made a little shrine for it or something, <laughs> but I built a cairn around it. Very interesting, that one. Anyway, as you can probably see, I don't have much to show you today. The clag's really been around all day, I've not really seen that much, to be honest. Hell itself is pretty straightforward. I did encounter the bad step on the way up uh, that I read about. Um, it wasn't anything too bad, to be honest. Um, the rocks were a little bit slippy, which made it a bit more tricky, but there was one bit really where there was a bit of rock protruding out and it kind of forces you to, you know, get your arms up and wangle your way around, but uh, it's nothing too bad. Uh, the rest of it was pretty, pretty straightforward. There was a path most of the way up. A few steep bits, but yeah, pretty straightforward. So it's called Bain Vuya. So B-E-I-N-N. -N. I've mentioned that in the last one. Uh, you say that Bain. So B-H at the start of a Gaelic word it makes a V sound like V. The UI makes a, makes a similar sound to AO, so a back of your throat mm sound, so V. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. A DH, in this case it's something called slenderized, and that's because it's surrounded by an E and an I, which are called slender vowels in Gaelic. Uh, so in this case it makes an overdone Y sound, so VUYA, Bain VUYA. So that's me pretty much done yapping for today. Um, I'm going to go get my sandwiches now, and I'm going to start a long walk back down. On a clear day at the top, you can see over to Ben Kruken, and Ben Louis, Ben Os, Ben Duchrig, and Ben Achleve up north. Unfortunately for me, today wasn't a good day. The clouds stuck around for most of the day and didn't dissipate until later on once I was back down at ground level. Well folks, that's me made it back down to the Glen. 
What a cracking wee day out that was. Since I uh, got to the summit, once I started heading back down, the cloud just totally shifted and the views really opened up. Um, you can see over here in the field, it's just got bluebells absolutely everywhere on the way up there. So I went up the left-hand route there and came back down the right. Uh, there was a bit of more scramble on the left-hand route than there was on the right-hand one. Uh, the right-hand one was quite uh, grassy though, a wee bit boggy at the time, so I think it's your choice which one you want to go, but I definitely recommend going up the left-hand route. Uh, that was the one I enjoyed most. It's a lovely wee glen here, uh, just up at the end there we've got Ben Louie uh, in the distance. Uh, can't see the summit because of the cloud, I don't know if I can see the summit from this angle, but it is up there somewhere. So I've got a few kilometres trek back down the glen to go, but um, yeah, it's lovely weather now, so I'm not too fussed about that. So thank you everybody for watching and I will see you all next time.